Hi, thank you for your interest in this LabCast. I'm a research fellow in Centic team. In this LabCast, I'd like to present our research on explainable depression detection on social media aided by metaphor concept mappings. This is an overview of today's LabCast. Starting with the background information on our research, I'll present our research aims and define the research problem, and I'll also summarize the main contributions of our work. In the next part, I'll outline our methodology for depression detection on Twitter and highlight key results of our experiments. And finally, I'll conclude this labcast by summarizing the main points. Depression is a serious health and social issue in our global society, and its prevalence is increasing significantly. We focus on depression on social media because people express their feelings experiences and mental state on social media using daily languages. Depressive use, depressives often do this even before seeking professional advice or help. As for methods, the state-of-the-art models usually focus on achieving higher performance in terms of classification evaluation metrics such as F1 score and accuracy. Also, deep learning models are usually black box models which means we don't know what's going on inside them, and it's hard to interpret results produced by such models. Inspired by findings of previous research and current, current limitations of methods, we aim to automatically detect potentially depressed users solely based on textual content of their social media posts. And we also aim to explain results produced by computational models for depression detection. In this work, we address the task of user-level depression detection, which can be considered a binary classification problem. Specifically, we aim to identify whether or not a user is likely to suffer from depression. The main contributions of our work can be summarized in threefold. First, we propose an explainable model for depression detection on Twitter. We incorporate context level attention mechanisms into our model so we can identify the relative importance of input features. Second, we introduce a novel feature called metaphor concept mappings into our model to better understand how people communicate their depression on social media. And finally, our model advances the state of the art performance even with a smaller number of training parameters compared with the baselines. And it can also generate explainable results. Now, I'd like to go into detail about our methodology for depression detection on Twitter. The figure shows an overall architecture of our method uh, called hierarchical attention network. It consists of two modules. One is for learning tweet textual content, and the other is for learning metaphor concept mappings. And each module consists of multiple layers of attention-based encoders. Before explaining the detailed methodology for depression detection, I'd like to briefly describe how these metaphor concept mappings are obtained. First, we label each token in tweets with two different labels. One is metaphor and the other is part of speech tag. And then for each metaphorical word, we, we generate a word set consisting of its inflections, synonyms and hyponyms. And then we choose a word that best paraphrases the original word from the set. Finally, after processing the original word and the paraphrased word using a generalization method, we can generate a metaphor concept mapping in the form of A is B. Now, I'd like to describe our method for depression detection step by step. Our model takes as input a set of tweets and a set of metaphor concept mappings of a user, and then it computes their embeddings using a pre-trained language model. In our experiment, we use BERT. In the next step, it computes query vectors and embedding matrices for the input features. And once the learning process is done, 
the output of the two modules is concatenated to form a joint representation for the, for the input user. And this representation is fed into three feedforward neural networks, followed by a softmax layer, which will output a binary label for the input user. In this part, I'll highlight key results from our experiment. As for classification performance, our model achieves an average F1 score of 97%, and this is an increase of 6% over the strongest baseline. The table compares different models for user-level depression detection. If we look at the figure on the right side, it visualizes attention weight learned by our model for two depressed users. Here we can see different colors for different features, which indicates that our model can successfully learn the relative importance of different features. Uh, we also demonstrate the explainability of our model here. The table shows the top five tweets and metaphors selected based on attention weight for two example depressed users. By, exam by examining the results, we can draw some interesting conclusions. For example, for the first user, uh, they use negative expressions and tone. And for the second user, they tend to repost or quote tragic news event, and sometimes they add some personal comments to them. In summary, in this work, we proposed an attention-based architecture for explainable depression detection on Twitter to better understand decision-making process for the task. Second, we introduced a novel feature called metaphor concept mappings into our model for depression detection. Next, our model advanced the state of the art in terms of classification evaluation metrics, and it produced results which can be interpretable by humans. And lastly, our source code and data sets will be publicly available shortly. Thank you for your attention, and if you have any questions about, res about our research and this labcast, please feel free to reach out to me. Thank you.